An inductor is just a coil of wire which can store energy in the form of magnetic fields. An inductor produces these magnetic fields only when there is a current flowing through it. The strength of the magnetic field highly depends upon the magnitude of current flowing through the inductor and the number of turns of the inductor. A straight conductor can also produce magnetic fields when current flows through it. But the density of these magnetic fields are quite low. But when we turn the conductor into a coil with certain number of turns, the current flowing through each turn creates its own magnetic field, which adds up to form a larger magnetic field. This ability to produce a strong magnetic field gives inductor a property called inductance. In the circuit, the magnetic field is created by the current flowing through the inductor. When the magnetic field reaches its maximum strength, it can no longer expand. So the back EMF, which was opposing the current flow, disappears and allows the current flow through the inductor. Now the inductor behaves like a simple wire, that is, it does not oppose the current flow. Even after being disconnected from the voltage source, the inductor has some current flow for a brief moment. This is due to the energy which was stored up in the magnetic field of the inductor. The magnetic field is self-sustaining, as long as there is current flow through the inductor. But once the current flow stops, the strength of the magnetic field decreases from its maximum.